Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve three problems. Problems are one, two, three. And the form that we see in the uh, third problem is called uh, power towers. And we see that there are a lot of X's appearing in the uh, power, which looks like a tower. So let's just start. Uh, before starting solution, I want to separate these three problems so that while I'm solving, things look tidy and clean. Okay, here we go. In general, in order to solve uh, the problems that look like number one, uh, we take the nth root, and n is the power here. So if we take the third root of both sides, in the left-hand side we will have x, and in the right-hand side we will have the third root of a, a three, so this is our solution to this problem. You can also write this one in other forms. So that's the solution for problem one. Let's start looking at the second uh, solution. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that the two terms that I'm going to show are different from each other. A to the power of B to the power of C is not the same as A to the power of B to the power of C. Let's, let me show an example uh, for this. Let's say 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 is equal to, you go with, the, with this term first, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So 2 to the power of 81. But if you use uh, the techniques that we know for this kind of form, we know that it is equal to a to the b times c. So if we apply the same thing for 2 to the power of 3 times 4, it is 2 to the power of 12. And as you can see, the value of this term and the value of this term is very different. And we have to keep this in mind while we are solving this problem. So you can't just say, okay, start with uh, multiplying 3 by x. No, this doesn't work. And we have to do uh, some other techniques. The trick to solve this problem is to change the variables and use a new variable in this equation. So I define a new variable called y, and y is equal to x to the power of 3. And this is equal to x is equal to y to the power of 1 third. Now what I will do, I will replace x in the equation with the new variable that I defined. 1 y over 1 third is the x and x to the power 3 is equal to y and the right hand side is equal to 3. The next thing that I will do is that I will I can now replace these two terms with each other and it is not one third to the power of y and this is this looks like this property and what I will do I will say okay y to the y to the power of one third is equal to three so if I take both hand side of this equation to power 3, it becomes y to the power y equals to 3 to the power 3. And if you want to solve this problem, the right way of solving this is to use uh, Lambert functions, but I think that goes beyond the scope of uh, this video. As a result, uh, I'm just going to use a trick. I can see that something that is in the base is repeated in the power and in the right hand side the same thing is happened so why is a value that is repeated uh, both in the base and the power and in the right hand side we see that three is acting in the same way so we can conclude that y is equal to three because if you replace this this equation will be solved and if y is equal to 3, we know that x is equal to 
y to the power of one third and this is equal to third root of three so this is the technique to solve this problem and if you replace this uh, solution in the problem we can see that this works and when you replace it it will be 3 to the power of 3 and we know that the answer for this is 3 which is equal to the right hand side of the equation and this problem is solved and our solution is this term let's go to the third one and in third one we have a similar situation but we have more x in the power so i will quickly uh, do the same thing change a variable technique for this problem maybe i can pick another color okay so we will start doing the same thing we will define a new variable x to the power 3 is equal to y and now this term is y based on that we know that y is equal to this also we can replace y to the power one third okay now let's replace the x's with the new variable that we defined we will have uh, y to the power 3 to the power of y to the power 3 to the power y is equal to 3 uh, you can start playing with the left hand side of the equation and try to move exponents and maybe change uh, another variable but there is a simpler solution for this and we can play with the right hand side of this equation uh, so we can write 3 is equal to third root of 3 to the power of 3 and we can again do the same thing with exponent and it becomes equal to this one to the power of 3 so if you compute this this will become 3 and if you uh, take square uh, the third root of 3 to the power of 3 it will be equal to 3 so the right hand side of this equation can be written as this form and left hand side can be written in this form and as you can see again similar to problem 2 you can guess that the y variable that we have here is equal to 3 and if you write y is equal to 3 x will be equal to the third root of 3 and if you replace this in the original term it will be yeah third root of 3 to the power of third root of 3 to the power of y which is equal to 3 and again if you solve this problem you can see that this becomes 3 and square the third root of 3 to the power of 3 become 3 and is equal to the right hand side of the problem which is 3 so rather than playing with the left hand side we focused on right hand side and uh, we obtained the value of x so yeah this is the end of uh, this video if you like this video and if you want to see more please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching